let me tell you how I died. I died during the Korean War. I died at the Battle of the Imjin River. I died on Hill 235. I died at Gloucester. Hardly anyone knows about the Korean War. Hardly anyone knows that the British Army fought in it. And, uh, and me? Well, I was forgotten about a long time ago. <laughs> Maybe that's okay. It's probably good now that when you think of Korea, you think of um, you think of that that, that fellow that uh, plays for Tottenham. Um, you know, um, or or uh, or new food to try on a night out, or or Psy, singing Gangnam Style. <laughs> That's good. You see, it's, it's peace. Because in nineteen fifty one, it it weren't like that. In 1951, it's where a war was being fought between the, the, the Chinese-backed North Vietnamese and the United Nations-backed South Vietnamese. It was mainly the Americans that were fighting in it. You know, they were trying to stop the spread of communism, but it was a UN sanction, so there were, well, there were Belgians, there were Filipinos, Australians. We were there. The British. We were there. I was there. You know, you know, 1951, it's, it's just a long time ago, and people forget, and if you were to look up what was happening in 1951, what you'd probably see is you'd see the Festival of Britain in London, which was this, it was this huge festival celebrating the end of World War II, you know, moving on to a brighter future. I'd love to have seen that. But the, the Festival of Britain was in August, you see, on, on the Thames, and I died in April, near the Imjin River on uh, Hill 235. We weren't even supposed to be near the Imjin River very long. We hadn't dug in, we didn't have supplies, we, we weren't expecting an attack. But it came. 10,000 Chinese troops, they just came at us. And on the 23rd of April, St George's Day, we were for it. Wave after wave of Chinese attack, they just broke over us, it was fierce. One of our radio operators, he, um, he had to use his rifle butt as a club because he ran out of ammunition. Still got his message out, though. We're overrun. We, we've had it, lads. Cheerio. By midday, we, the 1st Battalion of the Gloucestershire Regiment, the, the Gloucesters, we were ordered to pull back to protect higher ground. So as, as many of us that could, we headed up to Hill 235. Uh, we were soon surrounded. All night the attacks came, all, all, all night we just fought them off, and by morning we were battered. So many men were wounded or worse, and we were out of supplies. We needed ammunition, we needed machine guns. It, it's misty in the morning there. And as the mist cleared, we could see the planes coming in to drop us off our supplies. And, and we, we had salvos of, 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 of mortars and shells coming in to protect us. And, for the planes to land, we'd have to cool off the barrage, and that would be us done for. So, um, oh, we just waved them away. Twice we could see the UN lines try to reach us. Twice they were being back. No one was going to come save us on L two, three, four, five. You know. But we were the Gloucesters, and if there was three hundred of us left to fight, then ah, uh, we'd fight. <laughs> so, at first light on the twenty fifth of April, we counterattacked. Our bugler blew the, the first from Rivali, the, the long Rivali, the, the, the half hour dress, the quarter hour dress, uh, even the cook housing, even the American Rivali. <laughs> Maybe he never thought he was going to get to play again. I, I, I never got to ask him. You know, it didn't take us long for us to be stopped, you know. 300 against thousands was never going to work, but we, we tried. We stood tall. The colonel got the camp company commanders together and uh, he assembled them together. He, he knew how many of us we had on stretchers. He knew how many of us uh, were done in and out of supplies. And he knew how many of us had died. But he knew that we were the Gloucesters. So he gave us a choice. Either we surrender or we fight. Able Company, Baker Company and Charlie Company they head south, 
towards the UN lines, they don't make it, they're a cap ship. But I'm, I'm a captain into dog company, we head north for about a mile. <sighs> and, then, and then we swing west, and then, and then south. But before we set off, Captain Ainsley, he lays out the odds. He says, um, he said, uh, if we want to get out of this alive, lads, we need to move fast. Even though we're exhausted, even though we ain't eaten in two days, and even though we're scared. And, and then, then he said, um, we're not going to stop for the wounded. I think about mum and dad. Think about the farm, really. Think about hope. And, and, uh, and we do move fast and... Uh, we do keep going and we're getting there and and as we swing south we see the mosquito spots as it circles back and tries to guide us through the hills and we reach the valley, the, the, the sides are so steep and there's a stream at the bottom, we wait for about a mile through this stream and then we reach the bank onto dry land we think well we'll move faster now and as we do the machine guns open up on both sides. I dive for a ditch, it's about a foot deep, it's um, the stones at the bottom though and if you lift your head you're shot so we crawl. I crawl. The stones are just cutting into me, and I just, just don't stop. We, we just we just keep moving, and then we reach clear land. So I run. I run as fast as I can. I I, I don't get shot. I, the the tanks are about a mile away now. So so we, we run down the valley. We're running down. We got we get the tap from both sides. We have got the Chinese on the rear of our ragged line. They're just picking us off one by one. And we're now five hundred meters from the American tanks. I I, I can I can see them. And I'm, I'm waving at them, you know, and then they, they, they raise their machine guns and, 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 and their cannons. And then, well, the men at the front of our line, they begin to fall. Because they don't know who we are. And the mosquito dies down, try, trying to tell them who we are. But I, I'm in a ditch now with, with, with Captain Ains. And he, he's tying his scarf to a stick and trying to wave at the Americans, try to let them know, you know. And mosquito tries one last thing and he dives them. We all know, and it, 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 it drops some a note. Something works because they stop firing. We head over to the tanks. I, I cling on to one of the tanks, and the Americans are horrified at their mistake. One, one of the tanks are their lieutenants, and he keeps asking Captain Ains how many people, you know. Captain Haynes don't answer. Don't think he wants to upset him anymore. I think he doesn't know. Anyway, we, we, we're in the forest still, so the tanks, they, they, they then take us off the safety gun. Oh well, not all of us. I... I, 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 I died somewhere on that journey. I, um, maybe I, <laughs> maybe I died when I was in the, 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 the crawling through the ditch. Maybe I, maybe I did die in Hill 235. Sorry, sorry, I, I, it gets all a bit, um, blurry. <sighs> I'm going to say that I, um, I died on Hill 235, but I think it sounds better. <laughs> so you'll give me that, won't you? You'll give me death on Hill 235. I've given you quite a bit, haven't I? Death on Hill 235. When Captain Ains got out, he counted up the men that were left, and then there were only 29. The brigade counted up the cost of the three battalions. There were 1,091 men that were wounded, missing, captured, or killed. Out of those, 622 of them were Gloucesters, and there was 59 Gloucesters that were killed. I was one of them. A 
couple of days later, they held this um, memorial for us in a field. Uh, chaplain, he, he, he read out my name amongst the names of the dead. Amongst the names of the known dead. He, he, um, he spoke about this lesson from Ecclesiastes about this city under siege that's saved by a wise old man who was then soon forgotten. And then um, he, um, he reads this. Um, he, he said, um, In England they'll remember for a little while. The soldier does have his day, but it is not enough to remember now. We are a link between our past and the future, and if we are to be faithful to our past, we must hand on to future generations some of the heritage of the past. Having handed it on, we will be in some measure worthy of those who died that we might live. In England, I remember for a little while. Maybe it's just to be expected, you know, all of this. Maybe I am just supposed to be just a forgotten man who, uh, who fought in a forgotten battle, who died in a forgotten war. Maybe it's just to be expected. I mean, 90, it's 2020 now, 1951 is a long time ago. But there's this. Uh, on the 69th anniversary of the Battle of the Imjin River. As a mark of respect and friendship, the Korean City Council of Panju, they sent 1,000 sets of PPE to protect the key workers of Gloucestershire. So there are people that remember me. It's just they're in Korea.